First, I want to thank the House. Um, there's a lot of things the House has done in the last uh, three weeks to do exactly what they campaigned on. And my goal is that the Senate start doing the exact same thing. We have a Republican Party out around the country. We need to have a Republican Party here, and Republicans need to stop caving. With regard to the debt ceiling, the far left, the big government crowd, and Wall Street tell you all the time, they put out all the time, you have to spend more money, run up more debt, and raise taxes. And if you ever say that you need to stop, then they say the world will end, and we'll have plagues that even Moses would flinch at. It is a complete lie. We can balance the budget, right? Our states do it, countries do it. Now, if we don't balance the budget, who makes money? Well, DC bureaucrats do really well. The people that make money off of government, they do really well. Wall Street sells a whole bunch more bonds, they do really well. The rich are gonna to continue to get richer. And guess what happens to, happens to the American public? Their mortgage rates go up, their credit card interest rates go up, eggs cost more, meat costs more, and the average American is paying for all this. Now, I did this. I did this when I was governor. I walked in with a $4 billion budget deficit, and the same thing happened. If you don't, if you don't spend more money, borrow more money, Florida had borrowed a, a net additional uh, billion dollars a year for 20 straight years, and they were going into default on their debt. We balanced the budget, we actually cut taxes, and in eight years, we grew our economy, I think, by over 20%, and we had 1.7 million jobs. This is all doable, and if we don't, when anyone goes to the grocery store this week, you can blame everybody in D.C. that's not willing to live within our means for your interest rates going up and the cost of your eggs and meat going up. 